Hello everybody, my name is Edgar J. This is Edgar J TV. Welcome back to a new episode. Uh, last time we were talking about f-stops and we were doing that outdoor. And so I show you the different and what happens to the background when you change uh, f-stops from 1.8, we start 1.8, I think we went all the way to uh, f22, and you saw how the background started uh, got, start getting fussy. So now I'm in the studio and I'm gonna show you the same technique how the changing the f-stop will change the uh, the depth of field and how everything behind is going to start getting out of focus. Uh, what happened last time? I have the camera in aperture mode where where I control the aperture and the camera was controlling the speed because I had the sun and the camera can do that and it was enough light, natural light that was filling the image and it was looking great. But now that we're in the studio, we need to control that a little bit more because now we have uh, the flashes going in here and, and this is what happens. I'm gonna teach you this later, but what's happening is when you do in flash, your camera only can sync with a flash to a certain point. Uh, at that point, it could be, depending on the camera, 200 or 250. In my case, it's 250. I like to shoot in 160 to 200. So today I'm shooting at 200, and that's the speed in my camera, the shutter speed in my camera. But I can't do anything else. There's no way I can go 800. So I have to control the lights, the flash with the f-stops. I'm gonna start at 1.8 so you see how everything, it's not sharp on the back and how, what stays sharp and what doesn't stay sharp when I'm shooting. I'm gonna go um, from 1 to 1.8 to maybe 16 and then show you how can I, because when I go on from 1.8, let's say to f16, it's gonna get really dark. So the way for me to control that is gonna be with flashes. I'm gonna to have to kick the power and the flashes up so that way you can still get the same lighting, but more depth of field. This is easy to understand when you see the images. And right now I have my flash really far away. This flash right now is minimum power. I have a flash in the back that I'm gonna show you later that is minimum power because I'm using 1.8. And I mean, there's, there's so, much, so much light coming into the sensor that you need your flashes, not only in the minimum power that I, in the flashes but a more distance because I can't bring it uh, lower bring the power lower in the flashes so I have to kick it out push it back a little a little bit and that way I can do it so first we're going to start um, with 1.8 and as you see I have in the table right now a really um, long with different cameras uh, in different levels of distance so you can see what happens to the background when I'm shooting. This one that I'm shooting right now it's 1.8 and I'm my I, I focal point is on the first camera and then I'm gonna go right to the second camera at 1.8 and then I'm gonna go to the third camera 1.8 and I think we don't need to go to the fourth camera because you, you can get the idea with what I'm doing right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up to 2.8, okay? 1.4 to 2.8, it's one full stop. So I don't have 1.4, so I'm going from 1.8 to 2.8, and we're gonna start again on the first camera, and then we're gonna go right into the second camera, and this is the third, ca the third camera. I don't need to go to the fourth again. If you see these images right now, they're a little bit darker. And it's because I went from 1.8 to 2.8. And I, the, only, the best way, the only way I can control this now is pumping my flashes up. I'm gonna go ahead, and it's still this is good enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it up to, uh, let's see, four, five, six. I'm gonna go all the way to five, six. And I'm gonna shoot the first camera and I'm gonna shoot the second camera. I'm gonna stop there for a second because now right now, as you can see, the image is really dark. So I need to go ahead and pump my flashes up. So give me a second and I'm gonna go and bring my lights up. Okay, I pump my lights up and so now I have to, with that I compensate that I'm closing my f-stop to 5.6 so I bring my lights up so I can get the same lighting in these images. So let's start with the first camera. 
Now we're gonna go to the second camera and we're gonna do one more on the third camera. Okay, right there. I'm gonna go ahead all the way now to F11. Okay, because I'm gonna go a little bit more. Yes, I'm gonna go F11. Again, if I photograph this, can show you this. You see the image is dark, just like we had it before. So I'm gonna have to go and pump the, pump the lights up a little bit, bring it up a little bit of power, so that way I can compensate that I'm closing the f-stop. Okay, I want to pump uh, and bring my lights, give more power to my lights to be able to compensate that I'm closing my f-stop and give, bring in my f-stop so, so, such a high number as f11. Right now, this light behind me is full power. At this distance that I've been shooting, it's not enough light, and, but I don't have any more power. Like before, when I was 1.8, I couldn't bring it lower, so I have to make a little bit more distance between the light and the subject. Right now, I'm all the way up in the power, so I don't have more power to give it to the light. So what I need to, and it's still dark, so what I need to do is now bring the light closer. So as I bring the light closer now, that at least gives me two stops at this distance. I'm going to go ahead and check that strip. Uh, I'm going to have to move this light a little bit this way. And I still need to bring a little bit closer. And I brought a lower there, so uh, there we go. Perfect. Now we're going to photograph the second camera. And now we're going to go to the third camera. That is really nice. Okay. That show you that show you how the f-stops work even when you in or outside. It's different from the in indoors and outdoors because outdoor the you're using natural light. I mean, if you're using natural light outside, if you're using, using flashes outside, we have the same situation that we have right here, where your camera doesn't sync more than 200 or 250 and you shut a speed. So it's, it, will have, it will be the same situation. But if you're using natural light, the camera can sync at any speed, shorter speed. So you can go, I don't know, 1,000, 3,000 shutter speed, doesn't matter. If you go 1.8, you, you need to be 3,000 and your shutter speed, you be okay. But if you are using flashes, there's no way you can do that. There's no way you can sync 3,000 with flashes. There's one way to do it. I'm gonna show you this in another episode. This is special radios that I use that I can sync at any speed with flashes. I use those radios when I'm shooting outdoor. I like to do a type of fashion look when I'm photographing, or at least if I don't have an assistant, I can bring a flash and use a fill light with a flash. So I use those special radios that allow me to sync at any speed. But if you are an amateur and if you just want to do this for your family and all that, and you're outside and your, cam your flash is off camera, you won't be able to sync over 250 or 200 if the flash is not if away from the camera. If the flash is on top of the camera and you have a dedicated flash like a Nikon with a Nikon camera, you don't have any problem. If you have a Canon with a Canon flash, you're, you don't have any problem. It, this rule don't work there. But going back to the f-stop, which is the important thing today, if you're outdoor, you can let the camera measure for you the speed and you use your f-stop that you want, how, depend, how much uh, out of focus on the back do you want, how sharp or not you want the background. And that way you make the decision, you can make fun things and you can go ahead and make really uh, artistic looking images. Next episode, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go be, I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna get a model and I'm gonna show you what I do with f-stops, how I make really cool images using the f-stops. I don't worry about anything else, only the f-stops. Uh, I, I have a lot of high school seniors that come here, they bring their own cars, and I mean, they have this passion for their cars, so I have to make cool images. So I use f-stops to make really cool effects and really artistic images uh, with those kids. 
So that's going to be all for today. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave it down here anywhere on the video. You can go to Edgar J TV. That's edgarjtv.com and you can f follow follow us all right um i'm sorry on the website there's many ways to get in contact with me you can email me at info at edgar JTV. and come on subscribe to the to the channel subscribe in the website we won't send you spam or share your information with anybody but we will give you every time we have a new video we're going to go ahead and give it to you i'm going to announce it right now this is something that's going to happen in a month uh, I'm gonna be tra I'm gonna be traveling to the Caribbean, and I'm gonna be filming a great DVD, how to photograph with flashes and and reflectors and everything, and make everything look kind of type of fashion outside. If even if you're a photographer, you want to be a photographer, this DVD you need it. And I'm gonna be flying all the way to the Caribbean to get blue sea and <laughs> nice sand and, and beautiful scenery. So you can see how I do this in my everyday work in the Caribbean and, and, and I'm, I think it's going to be awesome. I'm so excited. So keep following. I'm going to give you a lot of uh, updates on how everything is going. I'm going to give you little, little pieces of the videos and all that for free right here in YouTube. So guys, I think you have to subscribe because this is going to be really, really excited. Don't forget to subscribe and to email me at info at EdgarJTV. Take care, guys.